guys. So, it's John Pollard. It's a pretty warm day. Out with my dog, Bruno. Um, I'm about to go in and get some marshmallows so we can roast them over the fire. I do mean we. Bruno here, he loves marshmallows. Like, loves them. Like, it's, it's, it's a little dangerous how, how much he loves them. Um, stay. Stay. So, real quick, what, what does my stay command mean? My stay command doesn't necessarily mean stay there at all costs. It really means, um, just more generally, stay in the area. Okay, so if I tell him stay in the garage, he better be in the garage when I get back. Um, if I tell him to stay as I go into someone's house, you better be immediately in that front yard, like not more than 20 foot away. You understand? Um, why is that? Um, that's just because I give Bruno freedom. The more he shows me he listens, the more he listens, the more freedom I give him. You understand? Um, he's doing pretty good these days. So I'm not going to give, I'm not going to tell him down. Because my, my down command, that's the you don't move. I don't care how long it's been. I don't care if it's if I don't come back till the next day. You better be right back in that same exact. You better not move a muscle. Um, the down is that position. Because down is just a naturally relaxing position for a dog. It's more natural. Uh, it's more relaxing than standing or even sitting. Um, so that's my... You're not going to move anywhere. If he's not listening to the, um, to the stay, the general, uh, you know, I'm coming back, you better be here kind of thing, then I'd make him down. Because down is a more submissive position. It's a, for a dog to get down, they're truly saying, hey, you're, you're pack. I am, I am listening to you. I am doing exactly what you say. You're the superior. So let's see if he's in here. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Awesome. So the trust is still intact because he stayed there. So now we're going to whip up some marshmallows. That is if it doesn't rain. It's uh might have a little bit of something over there but a few quick tips that I learned don't let your dog get ahead of you if the tail is in front of your body that's too far so he is always he's always behind me um, but for um, how do I say this for you to be sure that your dog is in the following mindset, he must be beside you or behind you. Let's see. He must be beside you or behind you. Okay? So if your dog is in the front, but you're like, oh, but he doesn't pull, he's still leading you. He just, he mastered the pace that you like to walk in. That's all. Especially if he's not looking back at you constantly checking in with you. That just, that doesn't mean that he's the perfect dog and he stays with you and he follows you and you're the pack leader. That just means he's mastered your pace and he's in front at all times. So, so I got my little wigwam shelter, whatever it's called, uh, wiglu, and then a little tin rain slash sun uh, blocker. 3,000. Got my little fire that went out a little bit. Uh, but you see those hot coals? You gotta know how to make that fire. That, that, that's the fire right there. The stick, the, the wood, that, that's not the fire. That red stuff, that's the fire. You get you some good coals, you can come back. When it, did he? Did, he didn't get a marshmallow, did he? Let me lay the bag down. Let me see if a marshmallow can get out. I'm gonna give him benefit of the doubt. I trained him pretty well in food, and to be honest, 
this he had to open them he would have take the took the whole bag with him and this wouldn't have been outside so casually so i'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt but i'll check back in when we start roasting marshmallows <laughs> 